Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner finalize terms of £145 million divorce after she saves him from booze hell. The actors announced their split three years ago, and now the pair are splitting their assets. It's taken three years, a new girlfriend and a stint in rehab, well, for one person, but Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner have finally come to the end of their divorce negotiations. The actors, both 46, met with a judge at Jennifer's house on Thursday to finalize the final points in their divorce contract. It's been a difficult task ironing out who takes what, as both Jen and Ben have earned millions of dollars throughout their decade-long marriage, and it's been estimated their combined wealth is approximately £145 million. According to People magazine, the divorce documents noted that they will keep any earnings they made since they separated. Ben and Jen announced their split on June 30, 2015 but as California is a no-fault divorce state, courts typically enforce a 50-50 to -50 division of assets, regardless of who earned more money or spent the most during the marriage. Forbes reported that Ben earned about £33 million in 2016 and 2017's Justice League, which he also starred in ended up taking pound 673 million worldwide. Meanwhile, Jen hasn't been doing too badly herself, as she pulled in lucrative contracts for campaigns with Neutrogena and Capital One, as well as appearing in Dallas Buyers Club, Wakefield and the Lena Dunham adaption of Julia Davis Camping. The couple also bought a pound 13 million LA mansion together in 2009, which would legally be considered community property and the value of it would be split. The final details of their divorce are yet to be revealed, including custody of their kids, Violet, 12, Serafina, 9, and Samuel, 6. Earlier this week, Ben broke his silence over his recent stay in rehab for alcohol addiction, saying, I am fighting for myself and my family. In an emotional message posted on Instagram, the actor, 46, confirmed he completed a 40-day stay at a treatment for alcohol addiction before adding his battle was far from over. He took the opportunity to thank his family, friends and fans for their support and to give an update on the full-time commitment of staying sober. This week I completed a 40-day stay at a treatment center for alcohol addiction and remain in outpatient care, he wrote. The support I have received from my family, colleagues and fans means more to me than I can say. It's given me the strength and support to speak about my illness with others. Battling any addiction is a lifelong and difficult struggle. Because of that, one is never really in or out of treatment. It is a full-time commitment. I am fighting for myself and my family. So many people have reached out on social media and spoken about their own journeys with addiction. To those people, I want to say thank you. Your strength is inspiring and supporting me in ways I didn't think was possible, he continued. It helps to know I am not alone.